Good morning, class. Morning, Penny. Good morning, Miss Modis. Welcome to your first ski lesson. First, a lesson in ski safety. We'll each need to wear a transceiver so that if we get lost or caught in an avalanche, we can find each other. <laughs> the dickens! <laughs> we'll start with an avalanche rescue exercise. Can we peek yet? Yes, you can both turn around now. I've buried my transceiver attached to the backpack somewhere under the snow. Zigzag back and forth until you pick up its signal. Oh, I hope we find it soon. My morning snack is in that backpack. Found it! Excellent, Sam. Now dig out the backpack as if you're rescuing someone. <laughs> Brilliant, Sam. I was getting really hungry. <laughs> I think your biscuit might have frozen, Elvis. It's like an ice lolly now. <laughs> oh, I hope the monster won't find us here in the forest. What was that? I'm scared. It is I, the abominable snow monster. <laughs> <laughs> now what's so funny? That's not scary, Norman. It looks like a snowman wearing your mum's dressing gown. It is a snowman wearing my mum's dressing gown. Even James wouldn't be frightened of that. <laughs> oh, only I could find a way to really scare Sarah and Mandy. Oh, do we get to do the skiing down the mountain bit now, Penny? <laughs> Not yet, Elvis. First, we'll try a gentle slope and learn how to stop. We slide down the hill like this and then point our toes together to make a snowplow like this. As gracefully as a falling snowflake. OK, Penny. I think I've got it. Great job, Sam. OK, Elvis, your turn. Here I come. Uh, ah! Stop, Elvis. Ah! Point your toes together. Ah! Sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? <laughs> no, Elvis. The Punty Penny Pioneers are stuck in the treehouse. <gasps> the Punty Penny Pioneers are stuck in the treehouse, and it might fall down at any second. We'd better hurry. Thanks for the lesson, Tom. I think it might be about to come in very handy. <laughs> Fireman Sam! Hurry, Uncle Sam! Oh! Quick, screw in the other end of this ball tightly to the tree. It's in tight, Sam. Well, you're all safe now. should have screwed the brace in properly like Fireman Sam and Penny. Sorry I didn't do my job properly. You never do your job properly, Norman. Penny, help me brace the rest of the tree. Elvis, you climb up using the tree spurs and take the zip line equipment with you. There's only one way to get everyone down. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Right, Elvis, your turn. Uh, slowly, this time. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Sam, I'm stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I was really looking forward to those. Oh. Oh. I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where the grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Wait! Wait! Slow down, cheese! Ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. <gasps> I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. And we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. Uh, oh, I can't go for much longer, Mandy. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. Be quiet, Norman. That wasn't the turtle either. It was just a log. I want to go home. The waves are getting huge. Oh, all right, Norman. I suppose I'll never see a real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. OK. <laughs> I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards... like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look! They're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Send us into the cliffs too! 
Just hold her steady. Ready, Tom? Roger that, Tim. Up and away! Now back to Neptune, Tom. What's about me? Don't worry, Norman. I'll be back. The sausages are ready. Ooh, uh. What's that? That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh, oh Trevor, you saved my life. I better call Fireman Sam. There we are. Perfect. Ugh. Solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Dennis and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Dennis and the children are trapped. Got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. Don't panic. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. It's really quick. Come on, sir. Hold it. Start the stopwatch, Mandy. I'm doing the first record-breaking balloon flight from Ponty Pandy to Newtown. someone stopped a stopwatch. Well, I never realised dancing could be so much fun. <laughs> Me neither. Any more dancing, Sam? Well, OK, let's try the jive. Yay! My favourite! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
this is rubbish. I'm going to find a much bigger record to break. Not before I do. <gasps> Baked beans? Of course. That's it! A bathtub. Of course that's it. James, Sarah, over here, quick. Hi, Derek. What's happening? I need your help with this old bathtub. But quickly, I'll explain on the way. That doesn't look very safe, Norman. I'm fine, Mandy. Start the stopwatch. I'm going to beat the baked bean can squatting record. That'll show silly old Derek. <laughs> OK. That's the plan. It looks scary. Right. Give me a push. A big push. Oh, hey! Quinnith Book of Records, here I come! Uh, Mandy, how am I doing? Another 20 seconds, and the world record is yours. Yes! <laughs> Your toothbrush and your comb and your teddy bear. Oh, don't pack that. I don't want to look like a baby. Have you packed my army bob pajamas? Of course I have, my little treasure. Oh, that's my that's my and now I'm off to the best sleepover ever. Who'd have thought my little Norman stopping out all night? Oh no! Norman, your army bump pajamas. Oh dear. I wonder what pajamas I pack then. As it's a night shift, Penny, we're really going to have to stay focused. So concentrate really hard. I will, Sam. Am I a cup of tea? Well done, Penny. And it only took you ten guesses. My turn. Uh, am I an elephant? Firefighters. Chief Fire Officer Boyce. What are you doing here, sir? Surprise, night shift, training drills. Um, you seem to have some, uh, paper thingies on your, uh, on your heads. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well, uh, sometimes on a night shift we play What Am I? It helps us stay alert, sir. Ooh, a bit of brain training. I like it. All we have to do is wait for your mum and dad to go to bed, and then we can have the best sleepover ever. I'm so excited. It's a good job I don't have big baby pyjamas like you two. These aren't baby pyjamas. Neither of these. Well, they are compared to my pyjamas. Oh, no. My mum packed my cuddly sheep pyjamas. Uh, everybody, look over there. What? Oh, no! I'm getting up! <laughs> I'm at the platform, Ben, but there's no sign of Mike. Maybe he's jumped overboard, Sam. I'll take a look around. I'll hold her steady. Penny, Elvis, you direct the cannons. Mike! 
I got you, Mike. <laughs> nice job, Ben. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, it was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishy nibble. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, little brown eel slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open. Hooray! <laughs> and we're off. That really does look like an ocean of flame, Mike. But this time, I won't put it out. <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Help. Towards the key. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! He's gone off the end, eh? <gasps> He's heading out to sea. I usually do that. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is heading out to sea at speed on a rocket powered hover cart. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. I might need backup. Island and have to draw a face on a football so I've got someone to talk to! Sorry, Sam. I didn't think it would go as fast as that. That's all right, Joe, as long as you're OK. Well, I have to say, it was faster than mine. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Uh, no, you two. And the winner of this year's Ponty Pandy Cup is... Norman Price. Oh, Hooray! Hooray! My Norman has won something at last, with no cheating or naughty tricks or taking my things without asking. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Good job you're wearing waterproofs, Ben. Did we win? Oh, James. 
<laughs> and then Radar will get in. Whoa! <laughs> radar, stop! Come back! Well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? Round three, the 100 meter pet motor dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! And they're off and racing. Mandy and Nipper take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly, who stops to eat some tucker. Come on, Woolly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning. Oh, Nipper could go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back. Nipper, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? I'll take that as a yes. Run like the wind, boy! Keep running! Sam. Fire at the whole fish cafe, a nipper and lion are trapped inside. can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. <laughs> of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in doubt, you can, can fight fire with sand. sand. You have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! Oh! 
Look, if I can grab that branch, I can stop the boat from moving. I'll help you. Ready? Now! <laughs> Don't you worry, Norris! Huh? We've got you! I don't know how long I can hold on! They took the boat downstream. Okay. Penny, go and satin in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis? I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Saturn's found them. But look, the boat is right next to the waterfall. Sam needs to hurry. Come in, Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick! On my way. Ooh, he, he's doing this near! He's up for Sam! Gareth, I need you to tie the end of the rope to the boat! Turn in. Everyone is safe. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to be fun, but it led us to dangerous waters. And I'm sorry too. Next time, don't go too far and always check where you're rowing. Oh, we will, Sam. We won't make that mistake again. And are you two all right? It did get a bit scary, Uncle Sam. But we did have quite a lot of fun with Station Officer Steele and Grandad. You hear that, Penny? Station Officer Steele was fun. Maybe he won't be cross that I got his report soggy and messy. Greedlington, you got my report soggy and messy? Come on, everyone. Let's get back and finish the filing. Not you, Greedlington. You can explain what you've done to my reports. Oh, it's the ghost of Fonty Pandy Pete! And he's protecting his treasure! Ah! Uh-oh! Please, oh, please, 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 let me find the path and not a pirate ghost! James? Is that you? Oh, Dad! You've got to help! Norman's lost in the fog and I can't find him anywhere! Norman! Are you there? Let's head back to the boat. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is lost in the fog on Ponty Pandy Island? <sighs> oh! <sighs> uh, finally! My lovely cup of tea. Norman Price is lost on Ponty Pandy Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Center. We'll be ready with Saturn. Over. Right you are, Sam. On our way. be 
be washed away. We're losing visibility. Let's hope Saturn can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Saturn. I've got something. Saturn's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on! Perhaps we could listen to my tape of greatest ukulele hits from around the world. No way, Trevor. We're on the One Way Street Express. Oh, I was afraid of that. Whoa! It's too icy! She's skidding! Oh, we're stuck in the snow. We're going to have to wait for help. Oh, no! about the concert? I know. Maybe we could walk the rest of the way. What a totally brilliant idea. But it's quite a long way. And it's really cold out. Quite right. We should stay here and wait for help. Oh, please. Mum. I don't think so, Hannah. It'll be really hard for you in your chair. I've got my snow wheels on. I'll be fine. Listen, everybody. I know it's cold. I know it's snowy, but we're so close to seeing our favourite boy band in the whole wide world. And we're going to be in the front row. We are strong women. And Trevor, we can make it through a bit of snow. Mandy's right. We can do it. Well, I suppose... If we all stick together. And it isn't that far to Newtown. And I would quite like to see them, especially Larry. Yay! Let's go! One Way Street, here we come! Oh dear. Oh, I suppose I'd better go with them and keep them safe. You gotta get where you're going. And keep on walking, gotta get where you're going. To reach the top, gotta get where you're going. Here you go, little old lady. Try these hand warmers. Oh, it's too hot! My poor little old lady head! Don't worry, station officer, little old lady. Try this lovely warm soup instead. Oh, oh hot, hot! It's too hot! My poor little old lady mouth! That little old lady's very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. It's so much f f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Oh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we're in the front row. out with water, Mandy. That's a petrol lawnmower. Ooh, uh, and that's fertiliser. You know what happens when you mix petrol with fertiliser? What? It, it explodes! Explodes? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Thank you, Nurse Flood. 
We really did learn lots about bandaging today. Yes, even if most of the practice was on you, sir. Well, after a busy day like that, I just want to go home and relax in my garden. Oh, ow, uh, uh. The, the Flutz garden is on fire and oh, it might explode at any moment. My garden's on fire and might explode at any moment. Come on, team. You get everyone to safety. Okay, Sam. Penny, we're going to need the sticky foam. Okay, Sam. Come on, everyone. Get back behind Jupiter. You'll be safe there. Turn it on, Penny. Out, Penny. All safe. Phew. I'm sorry, Mum. And I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to give my mum the perfect garden. Don't worry, Mandy. It was a nice thing to try to do. It was, Mandy. Thank you. <sighs> Stop that infernal racket! <sighs> Elvis! That is quite enough. The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters. Elvis, if you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah, what the grizzly? Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa, ah, ah! Oh, moose! Oh. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so, but I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I uh, I have my walkie-talkie. Oh no! I hope my fossils aren't broken. We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's okay, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. It's 
know more than you think. I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Mummy! Don't worry, Lily. We'll find them. Oh, no. I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realize how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily? What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh, no. Sarah's gone, too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Lost, Sam. They're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? He's showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. that you press the activation button twice to enter the menu mode. Which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. It's working. Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. I, I was so cold and wet that I lost my recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So? What are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast of fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I have been sailing to lands far and distant, but I will return before a waste wind can fall. That was so great, teaching our 
Jarvis and Penny have to use the sonar? Better than fighting giant carrots. Oh, Way better. better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronny, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben, ben are lost, lost at sea? sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. We can. Ah, my arms are killing me. It was around here somewhere. There! Oh. That wasn't a turkey, Mandy. That was just some seaweed. Now can we give up? No, Norman. If it wasn't for you, we would have been on Neptune and spotted it already. We've got to keep looking. Um, the sea is starting to look very rough. I really think we should go back now. Oh, actually, we're just the way back. There! I can see it! Stop rowing, Norman! I can't wait to see this. Ooh, it's good to be on dry land again. Chicken pasta feeling better now, sir? Oh, yes, Sam. Much better. Right. I just need to find the right frequency, and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. A real turtle. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards huh? the cliffs! like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Don't worry, you two. Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. It's an inflatable rescue path! Ooh. Oh! Whoa. 
tie it to the end of the jetty penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here. Elvis, you helped me complete the winter training. And I agree, the inflatable rescue path is better than totally brilliant. Now, you three, you must remember that frozen lakes are not safe to play on. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. I shouldn't have wanted to show off my brilliant ice skating. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> Let's pull her up. I put so many props on my side of the ship, Sam. I just wanted the best pirate ship ever. Don't worry, Norman. As long as you and Hannah are both safe. That looks like the perfect pirate ship to me. <gasps> it really does. Oh, my little Norman set design is so realistic. I feel like Jimmy Depp could jump out at any moment. <laughs> Ooh, I am the pirate Ponty Pandy Pete, and this is my treasure. And here comes my ship, the Ponty Pandy Pearl. <laughs> Brilliant! It couldn't have gone better. I don't want my frillies flapping about in front of everybody in Ponty Pandy. Now that's entertainment. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I would just like a regular sausage cooked on a regular barbecue with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! <laughs> Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We are trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery is flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff! 
There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Getting vertication again. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam. Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help. 